Hello, I am Carlos Garza. I am a Google for Education certified innovator, trainer, and leader for the Google Educator Group of South Texas in the USA. I'm going to answer how do I capture creative work and improve imagery, which relates to creativity and innovation in Google Classroom. I will share how to capture and improve imagery for both students and teachers using Google Classroom, including scanning and attaching images to assignments, combining images into a single document, cropping or rotating photos, and improving lighting. I will start by creating a question for the reading of the week discussion. I'm going to start by turning off students can reply to each other. I will attach two documents which were given to me on paper. As I tap on the paperclip icon, you will see different options to attach a document. I'm going to select camera. Next, I'm going to select take a photo. I'm trying to take a photo of this image. However, my phone is casting a shadow. I'll look at the angle of lighting. If the light is right above or behind me, there will be a shadow. I need to increase the angle in front of me. To solve this, place the photo at an incline. In my case, I will prop the document on my computer screen. I need to turn off the screen for this. Now, I'll take the photo. To fix this, I'm going to accept the photo for now. First, I'm going to tap on the image icon for the photo I just took. Next, I'm going to tap on the pencil icon to edit the image. To correct the orientation, I'm going to tap on crop, then the rotate icon until it's upright. Next, we need to change the perspective of the image. I'm going to tap on the transform icon. Then, I'm going to tap on the auto button to auto transform. If that doesn't appear or it doesn't work, I can always adjust by dragging the corner nodes to the corners of the image. When done, save, save, and back. Now I'm going to attach the reading. For this, I will have to use the option Scan Pages. Once you have the correct lighting and contrasting background, take the first photo and tap the check mark to continue. I'm going to change the name of the file by tapping on the title. I'm going to tap on the Add More Pages icon before I make any adjustments. I made a mistake on this image, so I'm going to retake it. I need to adjust the color for this one. I think black and white would look best. This page also needs to be rotated. I want to make sure that this page is cropped correctly. And this page is here twice, so I'm going to remove it. Now that I have reviewed my documents, I'm going to save it. Next week, I'm going to turn on students can reply to each other to engage them in a virtual discussion. For students, the steps are similar. The difference is that students will be submitting their assignments as shown here. Now we know what to do when we need to add physical documents to our Google Classroom assignments by editing photos and scanning documents using proper lighting. I am Mr. G. Cheers.